on there. Let's let's see, let's see, let's see what we've got. What do Navi do on the T side to start things off? That's another really interesting thing. Because it's full Kevlar right now, Anders. Full Kevlar, no nades, just decoys. Those don't really count. So what do Navi want to go for? Is it the full YOLO B? Are we seeing a matchmaking strat? I don't know, but these grenades from LC are incredible. There's so many of them. Rubino gonna throw out the first one. That's a very good grenade. Zeus down to 45, and that's actually gonna stop Navi. And the problem with that is now more grenades are coming in. So if they push after the smoke is gone, there's gonna be another two grenades. And this is actually pretty interesting. And especially because Polly's walking up. I think they know. They should know where Navi is right now. They have to have an idea. Oh no. Are they making Does the replay? push? Oh, do they really think? Are they really gonna fall for this? Ruby, no. Don't leave the site. There it is. Confirmation, but it's too late. He gets overrun. He still gets a headshot on Guardian, so it's a one for one, but it ain't good enough. PRB oh. already taking shots from Kitchen. These grenades are gonna have to come up really big now. The bomb's down. One grenade rains in, doesn't do anything. Next grenade won't hit either. And this retake's gonna be tough. Polly's coming up from behind. Still a bit of hope here, but the retake without Polly succeeding is gonna be really tough. Skirk with a good shot, actually. He goes down. Rain with a sick headshot now. They're gonna be able to take down Edward. No, they just can't. And Rain is gonna be alone. And Edward's gonna jump in and finish the job. Great round from Edward. Triple for him. And a really successful round from Navi. But, I mean. Actually, this is a, a really tragic story coming out from LC in this round because Polly, Polly's position was godlike, but the, they actually it actually ended up mind gaming them. They thought it was they Navi could have been two places on the map, right? Navi could have been up here, or they could have been over here. And unfortunately, they thought it was an A push. I can't really blame them for it. They had no reason to think it was going to be a B push, but that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's how it works sometimes, Polly. I mean, the thing is, is the, the reason why as well is that Polly is pushing into T-Spawn. And they're, they're, that's their confirmation, basically, if he can catch anybody out. But it takes so long for him to walk up there. He has to be slow. He has to be careful. What a shot from Rubino, by the way, pit, with the headshot on Star X there. Yeah, that's good. But it's just, you know, that's the, the way it plays out. He gets two. So actually, that doesn't that, that actually kind of saves the round for Lena Conspiracy there, making Navi spend some ca some cabbage. Yeah, But yeah, good. that's... Yeah, that... that that call. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. London conspiracy have to have to calm themselves down, really, and you know find that center. No, not to overthink too many things here, or they're going to keep making mistakes like that, where they they start trying to think ahead, and it's going to come and get them. Yeah, and I think the fact that Rubino had heard some people rushing over by the B bomb side earlier, I think that that also made them think that um, that you know that was a fake, that was a B fake, and then the rest were going to be at A. So I think there was a lot of information that LC got that, that ended up working against them. I can't really blame them for it, but it's obviously a little bit unfortunate. And it's not like we're really cheering for, for LC to win. It's just that Navi is the best team in the whole world, basically, at playing uh, at playing this map. So I think they it it would be it would be upsetting if uh, if London Conspiracy could end up winning, but also very surprising. And don't think don't think very many people are, are betting on them to actually win this map. See if they can do it in the second one. Yeah, that's. I mean, you got a good point there. But right now we're paused, and we're waiting on C's. It seems like he dropped out yet again. Yeah, that's a shame. And hopefully he's going to be right back. Don't want this match interrupted by any kind of issues. Um, either way. Huh? Well, I mean, we're looking at a three and zero scoreline here for Navi, and then it comes down to, you know, what happens when London picks up you know, some rifles. Polly, especially, I feel like, with the AWP, because the first game we saw London, you know, LC play against Kick, they won that game, but I think Polly did not have a lot of luck with the AWP. He had some good shots, but nothing amazing, and he missed a lot of shots. Whereas, you know, in the last game here, he really did well. So if he can continue that trend on this map, it's really important. Having an open Mirage is can be really, really valuable. Right, I don't mean to leave you hanging here, but I'm just checking something real quick here, Anders, so I'll nice be back so in about nice. 30 seconds. That's fair enough. I get some time to talk again. Flashbang coming up from Seuss. Definitely a completely worthless flashbang, but it doesn't really matter. Nobody's there. Instead, over at the B-bomb side, it's going to be Rubino with the C-set. Last time, got some good kills in. See if he can do it again. He's ready and waiting. Going to take down one and picks up the AK. Not enough time to fire a bullet there. That's a real shame. Good good shots coming out from Hawk and they're uh, actually Skirk. Skirk the Hawk? I don't know, that doesn't really sound just as well. He still gets a headshot on Seized, and it's going to be a 4 on 4. And I think LC should look for exit kills here instead of the retake. But, wow, Polly, long term, gonna, long range, going to take down one. Guardian, plenty of health, and Edward also going to go down here to PRP. Now it's actually a 2 on 2, and now a 1 on 2. Rain, 
Not going to pick up the kill, but a lot of kills coming in from LC once again. Only two members of Na'Vi survive, and that's going to make them spend a lot of money they would have liked to have saved. Moving into the fourth round, there's going to be rifles all around. No sniper rifle, no AWP picked up for LC yet. Uh, nothing, well, no big surprise there, because they are going to be somewhat limited on the money. Rubino could have afforded an AWP, but hey, he's not your opper. So, Pauly just going for the M4A4. For now, at least, Lemon Conspiracy, look at the play that they've gone for, however. They've pushed a man all the way up, PRB, top mid. He's got support from window, he's got support from connector. Really cool play from Lemon Conspiracy. But this does leave them a little bit vulnerable on the edges, towards the B site, towards the A site. The thing is that Navi are not known, they are not known for going for rushes. So... Lonnie Conspiracy feel like they can go for a little bit of the aggression mid to get information and not get punished. But this, they're, stick, they're sticking around here for way too long. Well, let's see. They have an interesting setup. POB is probably going to be able to catch Seized here. And with, with Polly in the window, I actually think this is really interesting. I don't think Seized is going to be prepared to peek at someone who's in that position. Especially not this late in the round. 50 seconds left on the clock. Smoke goes in. That's a big problem now because now PRB is weirdly in a in, in a completely alone situation and it's going to go down to Edward. So that smoke really cancelled that kind of hold. Yeah, exactly. He loses his support and now Seized is actually pushing up from Connector. He finds Polly headshot there. Not working out for London Conspiracy. There's still Skirk the Hawk alive on the site, but it's not good enough. Only one kill going London Conspiracy's way. There is a man, Rubino, very close behind on CPL, but he's been smoked off. So he has no real hope of making it in, making it in here alive. No, none at all. Exit kills again is the best option here coming out from uh, from Rubino. Going to go for the one, and he, he thought that uh, Zeus was going to die a little bit earlier, but he stayed alive on 4 HP, so that's just unfortunate. And the fourth round not going in favor of London Conspiracy. I still... I still maintain that it's kind of a cool idea having one guy peek this way and then another guy in the middle peeking the other way, but as soon as that smoke went off, that was the end of it. Well, it's also as soon as he lost his uh, support from Connector, right? But then yeah. that leaves him open to too many angles, I feel. Like, you, you go up at the top like that, and then you stay there for 10 seconds, and then you back off. Because at that point, PRB, he can't actually get back to Connector, because if there's a man in Underpass, he has no way of knowing that. And as soon as that smoke goes off, so that smoke goes off, he's either going to have to look towards underpass or look towards mid. But he, in, any, in any case, it's just a crossfire situation that leaves him at a great disadvantage. So, um, London conspiracy. I think they tried to they tried to force a play that um, that they didn't really need to force. I mean, they got the information. Navi weren't at mid at that point. Start you know falling back to sites and pushing elsewhere maybe. Yeah, it could be that that was going to be the the better play. It's kind of hard to tell. I feel like if. If Seized had been pushing up to take a peek from underpass or something like that, then it could have worked out a little bit differently. But hey, it's not really uh it's not really it's a hard call to make in the middle of a match, I suppose. Of course we've got Seized being disconnected and they're saying it might be you know a couple of times before they can get him back, and then hopefully we could just continue with everything here. But um that's pretty much it. In the meantime, remember to go and also follow us on Twitter. The links are right here. The follow command always works. Anyone can type it. So, um, yeah, these are the links that you can follow. And also to our YouTube and to our sponsor's Facebook page and everything else. So, And our subreddit, which is apparently also is up and running. I actually forgot to post about um, about going on here. But, um, yeah, we, sh we should. Up from tomorrow, I'll make a post on there about the stream tomorrow. That's it. I will do it. But I forgot to do it this time. Alright, still waiting on Seast to get back in. Of course, we are sorry about the delay, especially because we're sort of getting near the time when... No, actually, it's still another hour before ESG and that uh, is going to be playing. We'll be covering that game there. ESG versus that gaming is going to be is going to be an interesting one. Oh, that's going to be... I'm really looking forward to that one as well. Uh, tomorrow already, I can see that Titan is playing Encore, and I can see that Epsilon is playing Copenhagen Wolves. Now, that game is going to be very fun. I am definitely going to be a fan of that game. That will be a lot of a lot of a lot of fun to watch, I think. I uh, see. Can we get any update on the situation? I'm sort of looking through the admin chat guys to see if I can figure out what's happening here. But um okay, I think it's it's going to be live again in about 30 seconds. So, we have yeah. we have something going on here. Good good stuff. I'm just checking with Navi's manager right now to see if uh, what what's actually happening as well. But I mean, it's it's what can you do at this point? They kind of just have to move forward. 
and uh, Navi. I mean, they're in a, they're in a fantastic position so far at the beginning of this half, which is exactly what we what we would expect from Navi on Mirage. Four rounds up on their T side. It's really going to come down to whether London Conspiracy can actually figure out a way to stop the Navi train. And it's not going to be happening this round, most likely, seeing as how London Conspiracy losing the fourth round, they're ecoing this round. Like Seize playing Seize, please stop it. Rain pushing up with uh, PRB. One of them died, but they got the kill in return, so that's really good. Holly going to go down, trying to shoot in the middle. And over at the B-bomb sign, it's Rubino and Skirk also showing up. He has a Deagle in hand, and Rain's picked up an AK. Let's see. Oh, Skirk gets the 1D. <laughs> Guardian is gone. <laughs> get out, son. Rubino misses an opportunity to get a kill as well. Seized from the apartments. We'll find him. Skirk? No, it doesn't happen again. That would have been magical. Two 1Ds. But yeah, even Guardian admitting that was a nice shot. Skirk with the Deagle. Skirk's been on fire, man, towards the end of Inferno. Now still throwing his weight around on this map. We need to see more. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, be careful with holding down the button when there are trucks going by. Yeah, there's a motorcycle. I, can't I really... actually have to have the window open, though, because it's like 32 degrees. Oh, trust and me. I know. It's really hot. Now that the, the thunderstorm is gone and now the sun is out again, so it's just, it's now it's hot and humid. I'm, you know, ah. it's actually like being in a sauna. I'm loving it. At least it's only just really hot here. Yeah, at some so point when we go back to the camera. At some point we go back to the camera, I'm just not even going to have a shirt on. I'm just going to be sitting in my chair. <laughs> All right, Rain really wants to hold on to this AK, and Edward really wants to take it away from him. I think Edward might be successful here. Rain is not going to realize what's happening, and Edward will take it away. So nice attempt. Good round from London Conspiracy, getting a couple of kills in. Now we're going to be going to the sixth round, and there's an AWP on Polly. A good idea. Yeah, solid work. I mean, the Mirage is a very popular opping map. That's one thing, you know, that everybody is going to know. You're looking at you're looking at Dust Two. You're looking at Mirage. Those are op maps. So the thing is, is that Polly versus Guardian. That's really rough. Guardian takes the peak and gets the kill. Hardly even stops. It's like one fluid motion with Guardian. He doesn't seem to stop to slow down for that shot. It's just impressive. It is really scary, and that's unfortunate because. Once you invest that much, especially if you're LC right now and you've just invested all of that money into the AWP, then you really don't want to take it away that quickly. Seuss almost gets shut down and Edward almost died as well. Skirk, I mean, he's done a lot of damage in this round. He just hasn't picked up a kill, but this might actually still be enough for them to, to win this round. And they need to start winning rounds right here, right now. Yeah, the bear wishes he had an AK right now because he had two headshots so far in this round, in this half. He's still alive with 15 HP and kicking. And it looks like Navi want to go for a patented boost up into window. This is one of their go-to strats. They love to put one up into window, start infiltrating the defense, pushing into CPL, maybe getting back into CT spawn. But it does look like this is going to be an A play after all here for Navi. And Rain and PRP holding. They both have a lot of HP, but and Rain actually has a really good position here. Guardian might go down if he looks the wrong way. Up there, but peaks a little bit too soon, and then Edward's going to punish him. Now PLB is utterly alone in this bomb site. Still, great headshot coming out. Looking for a second one. Seized is going to go down. PLB doing all the work here, and it's going to be Edward alone. One on three. He's going to get taken down from Rubino, who gets a double kill. Very, very nice hold from PRB. Yeah, PRB the linchpin there for Haunted Conspiracy. Him getting the headshot on Guardian already is massive. But for him to get the second frag as well, that was his work done. He could die there and be just fine. Like, he just needed to get those two kills. And now London Conspiracy actually managing to get a, a round on the board, A, right? And get a little bit of money. But they're going to go for another aggressive peak. And alone, PRB somehow gets the kill, though, without taking a single point of damage. Starx is down. But that was a very risky play there from LC. And a big question as to why Starx didn't manage to do almost anything at all there. Because he was actually aiming. He was ready for it. He, was, he had that angle because he was anticipating someone pushing and still just nothing happened. So heads up play from London Conspiracy. I'm very surprised about how that worked out. Polly gets sprayed down. Oh gods, that's the first time we've seen anyone do that to such a huge effect. Spraying through the newly found wooden plate or the, the wood panel that's right here. You can actually shoot through this now. So one of the latest additions to Mirage and well, gets uh, utilized by Seuss very well. That was perfection. Now that, that was actually what Navi needed. Bringing it back to a 4-on-4. Four four. Seize is still up in the apartments. Rain seems to have an idea that there's somebody up here, though. Edward finds one kill, but Rain takes out Seize. Now Zeus on electric, goes for the headshot, gets it. Rain is out. And, well, Navi get onto this A site with a man advantage. Let's see. Where is Edward? He's far away from being grenaded, so they can't really use this Molotov on him. That is not going to deprint the bomb plant. We'll do a little bit of damage to Zeus, but he's going to get out alive. And now retakes. It's going to be pretty hard here, I think. Guardian... 
making sure it's almost impossible. Just taking a shot right through, and second one as well. And there it is. Uh, yeah, that's that's just tough to deal with, right? I mean, Guardian, this is why Guardian is seen as one of the best operas in the world. He's just ludicrously good. Uh, it's really just really tough to deal with his with his with his precision, his speed. I mean, we've already seen how fluid he is with his movement as well. Like you just you can recognize Guardian now just by watching him op. You can recognize that it's Guardian opping. Uh, he's just that good. Oh, he is. Polly with a good shot. He's at 75, but it's not quite enough here. Let's see. Skirk needs the one deke looking for it. Not connecting. He's gonna have a couple of more tries here, but not when Guardian shows up. You know, AWP is a little bit more powerful at range than an eagle is. And that was actually a really good anti-eco, or a rather an eco round for London Conspiracy. Holy hell, getting that many kills, that certainly put uh, Na'Vi back on their heels, and that made them spend quite a bit of money that they wouldn't have wanted to. Na'Vi, only, only three guys floating around the 5k. The other two members, however, are very low on funds right now, so... Lenny Conspiracy, they, they're still kind of keeping it even as far as the money is concerned, right? They're still keeping Na'Vi within that striking range of an eco. Where they win two rounds, then Navi are ecoing. So that's that's where not that's where else you have to keep this going. Right now, though, Starx, the timing, and he doesn't get the kill on Skirk. Nope, he's gonna peek up and then get it. And Skirk actually flies a fair distance before he falls to the ground again. I think seven and one is a very very clear indication of what's happening here in the first half. This is looking really tough. I mean, LC have been close a number of times, and that is cool news, but. They haven't been able to close it out, and now they have almost no money left because they won the one round, then they have continued to lose here, and they're going to be hard pressed to get a lot of things done here. I think Navi would have been fine having six rounds on this first half. Now they have seven, and they're probably not going to stop here. No, this is, they have seven. They're going to be getting eight here fairly soon if uh, LC can't actually land some shots. I think that's a, a lot of it is coming down to just the timing and Navi having the timing, but then not missing the opportunity to abuse that. So really, Navi, they're coming out ahead in several ways. We do have the rotation coming in now to the A side. It seems like LC, they've figured out that this is going to be the plant. Starks coming through connector, picks off one, though. And Zeus, in the meantime, finds Rain. Good double from PRP. Good triple from PRP. Very nicely done. And he's going to get grenaded down. Guardian now in a one-on-one, -on -one, peeking towards where Rubino is. But the bomb is going to be picked up right here. And Rubino trying to change his position. Not going to be that easy. And Edward giving some credit out here in the chat. Six seconds or eight seconds now. Just six left. He's going to put the bomb down. And peaks. Rubino has to play this one smartly. If he missteps even once, well, you know how fast Guardian is. Uh, and he bumbles the nade as well. Only one point of damage dealt to Guardian. There's the smoke to give him some room. If he can just get past the, the, the corner there, he spots out Guardian. Good flash as well. Guardian fully flashed, backs into CT spawn, but this is still a plant for CT. Guardian misses a shot. Rubino forced off the bomb, though, and this is all Guardian has to do. He just keeps peeking out and gets the final kill. Rubino, that was just uh, such an insanely difficult position to be in. He just wasn't going to come out ahead there. No, that's unfortunate. Guardian getting down into CT spawn makes it really, really tricky, but it's... um. A kind of nice play from Guardian as well. I think it's almost like he used um, the smoke that he had thrown to actually work against him in that position. So, interesting stuff. That's 8-1. And moving into the 10th round here, London Conspiracy have to eco. And Na'Vi are really putting a hurting on them now. Ah, uh, yeah, and they just continue to dominate. We're another pistol round coming up here for LC. Just, they're not able to get any kind of bank. And Rain trying to do his best with that CZ. But they're about to get closed in on. The flank is coming in from A Apartments. Rain looks up in time to see Starks. And he even gets the headshot. Rain just continues to find these kills. And PRB as well, picking off Zeus. All of a sudden, man advantage for LC. And they continue to push it forward. PRB finds Edward now over at Electric. And the A side has been locked down. And not giving up the Norwegians. Not easily at all. They do have the bomb on Seized. And Guardian is also still alive. So you can't really call it too early. But this 2 on 4 is looking quite promising. They have picked up three AKs, and there's even a smoke and some body armor on their PRB. We'll see. Smoking off towards where Guardian is is going to be really annoying for him. Is he going to walk through the smoke? Does he take the risk? Seized at CT. We'll find one kill on Skirk. Seized with double now. Rain is out, and this is now into a two-on-two. -two. Guardian gets onto that A site, flashed in. Nothing really else he can do about that. Rubino now waiting in connector. Gets spotted, but Guardian misses the shot. 
Yeah, bomb is down. Seized very low on health. 5 HP. If only they had an HE grenade, they could make this a 1 on 2 easily. But they have to worry about Guardian. If they go for Seized, then they have to cross Guardian. And that's not a good idea. Seized going to pick up one more kill. That's now a triple. And Rubino can't catch him. And Guardian will get the return frag. So in spite of all that work, and it was so close, it doesn't happen in the end. 9-1. And at least the uh, LC can buy here. But this is not looking good. No, well, it's once Guardian gets into that position where he's able to just lock it down from CT. London Conspiracy, they just can't deal with that without like a smoke to, to just cut him off, cut him out of the picture completely. Going up onto that site against Guardian is suicide. And this is just, they, they just need to be landing more of the, uh, of the initial shots. I mean, LC had a great start to that round, but then Guardian just kind of grinds them into dust. It's really, really tough. I think... I don't know. I think LC, they need to stay focused on this map, but I think they also need to remind themselves that there is a third map, and they need to make sure that they don't, you know, wind themselves down playing on this map, that they basically keep enough energy, enough focus, and enough, you know, team spirit left for playing on Dust2, because that's a very different map in terms of how strong Na'Vi are. They're still very strong on Dust2, don't get me wrong, but not as strong as they are on uh, on Mirage. Well, it's, like, it's almost like Na'Vi are kind of like... Dust 2 is kind of equal to Inferno. Maybe they're a little bit better on Dust 2, but it's still like similar. Mirage is, I think, Navi's best map at this point. They just look so dominant on it. Yeah. If they, if LC can, well, I mean LC, if they can't take this map, Dust 2, Dust 2 is going to be one hell of a way to finish this series. Starks with the AWP picks off Rubino, who's picking at B Apartments. Zeus managed to find PRB. Starks with a second one, picking off Skirk from short, and he's even looking towards Kitchen to pick off Polly. Legs him, or that's a nade, full on to Polly. Polly goes down to seize, and now Rain, who had a bit of a battle going on with Zeus over here, is going to be trying to escape down through the underpass. And we're looking at a 10 to 1 scoreline, and this is just all now be all the way. Yeah, there's no real getting around that at this point. This is too dominant to lead. And I, I have trouble picturing LC actually managing to, to, get this kind of, to get this kind of performance under their belts on the T side. Uh, this is unheard of. Nine rounds, soon to be ten rounds on the T side of Mirage, is just you know one out of a hundred. So these yeah. kinds of matches, like it's the Navi are just gonna just roll right through. It seems their CT side is equally good, so it's it's really tough here for for London Conspiracy. Like at this point, LC, you know, like they're going at it one round at a time, sure. But in the back of their heads, they're probably already preparing for Dust too. At least, well, yeah, it's sort of a tricky thing. I just don't want them to. I don't want them to wear themselves out worrying about this map too much. I want. I want to, you know, one of them to save some resources for playing on Dust Two. Because if they get super frustrated and super angry at each other for being behind nine rounds, then that can actually spill over into the next map, and you really don't want that. Edward with a great opening here, and Seuss down another pass. PRB spotted him, but can't actually get the kill on him. And yeah, LC, this is. Uh, They've lost the last five rounds in a row. Oh well. Yeah, they have lost the last five rounds in a row, and it's been like five rounds, one round, five rounds. I mean, Navi, if they continue like this, 14-1. I wouldn't even put 14-1 out of the realm of possible of possibility. This is this is looking far too good for Navi. They're getting the entry frags, and then they're making the right call based off of that information. Right now, LC, they, they're kind of going with this like catch-all sort of position on the map right now with two guys waiting in window in CPL. They're going to be able to rotate over quickly to support Polly, but by the time they get there, Polly's already dead. Yeah, no chance at all. Leg shot coming in on rain down to 27. He's going to peak again, and but he's the only one in the kitchen. Backup is coming, but it doesn't really even matter. They're in a 2 on uh, 4 here, or 2 on 5, and even being caught in the middle by Seuss a little bit, not working out. Guardian gets the kill. Rain's going to pick up one, but he's going to be found as well any second now. Seuss will take him down, and we're looking at 11 to 1. Yeah, and the pain train has left the station, man. And a bit so, of a break as well, I think. Cause it seems like it. It seems like we have a very short break here. Seized, just going to be resetting real quickly. Uh, so he should be able to uh, get this sorted out fairly quickly. It hasn't been like crazy long breaks. So uh, this gives, a, at least what happens here is it gives LC a little bit of a moment to, to recover, to get a breather and talk things over. You know, maybe uh, it'd take an act of, you know, an act of God. To, to get them back into this, and I don't think Zeus is feeling too generous right now, so they have to start thinking, okay, perhaps Dust2, what's, what's down the line for us here? 
I mean, what's not working on Mirage, but what what can we do on the T side? I guess you know if we were, if they were to pick up that pistol round, pick up that fourth buy round, maybe maybe. Yeah. Oh man, just a quick uh, just a quick you know little aside here, guys. While we're waiting for C's to get back in, um, I hope you guys are gonna go and check out the Global Offensive subreddit right now. There's a thread called "Room on Fire" featured on BBC Newsnight. Now that title is a little bit bit misleading, but it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, BBC, I think we're doing a, a segment on you know Twitch being bought by YouTube for you know a billion, which is ridiculous. Um, but um, but kind of cool, I think. Also, I think that has a lot of. Well, I'm gonna talk about that later. I think I think that has a lot of you know possibilities for uh, for for us. But anyway. Um, they had a you know a small clip. It's like five seconds, I think, where where they show like a Twitch page, and it happens to be Room on Fire that's being shown. So, I that is really fun. That made me happy. We'll see if uh, if we can spin something off of that. I'm gonna write it in our resume or something featured on BBC at one point. But either, featured either on BBC <laughs> with a link to the Reddit. Exactly. Either way, it it was fun while it lasted. Right, five seconds of fame on mainstream television. I had fun. I had fun reading that this morning when I when I found out. Yeah, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Seeing that, I was like, what? That was last night when we saw the link, right? We were just like, what yeah. the hell is going on? And then we find out that they featured like a five-second clip, basically, of uh, of the stream. That was yeah. a surprise, a real surprise. It's a shame that they, uh, that whoever the reporter is, they sound so damn arrogant. But it was still, a, it was still an interesting little watch for the clip. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely is fun. Now Seized is back, and the fun can continue for Navi. Maybe not so much for LC. It feels like they've taken a bit of a brutal beating here on uh, on Mirage. But we did predict this. It's not like we didn't tell you guys this was probably going to happen. As it does to almost every team that plays against Navi. Including teams like Virtus Pro and Hellraisers and NIP and almost any other team. I think people in the main just really want to avoid playing Navi on this map unless they have really studied them. Sanika round coming out from LC and grenade rains in here. Edward picking up actually one kill already. Not going to pick up the second one just yet. No, but they still maintain the man advantage here, Navi. So as far as they're concerned, they should have this unlocked. Bomb Guardian actually getting caught out somewhat. Sees that 75 power fire. Uh, excuse me, fire going back at him there. But Guardian drops only to 75. PRB picks up one on Seas. Not gonna pick up a second, however. Skirk hoping to pick up a kill on Seuss there. Could have been a. A nice little kill, but not going to make a big difference, I think. Guardian with the one shot now. Rubino caught by stairwell here and is probably going to be going down. There it is. Grenade will finish him. Uh, yeah, not looking too good. 12 to 1. And you you did mention, Semla, this could end up 14 1. And at this point, that's what we're headed for. If they win this round, then yeah, LC, they're not going to have... Oh, they'll have enough for a reasonable buy, like Famasas and Nades, that sort of thing. But they won't have an AWP, and it's not going to be on Rubino. Rubino taking the AWP over to B Apartments, which is actually, I mean, something that you mentioned fairly often, Andrew, says we have a bit of a firefight in A Apartments, and everything falls apart for LC. Yeah, you're right. I am a big fan of the uh, of the BAWP, but um, it doesn't matter because the A bomb side is so heavily under attack. They tried to do a double push into apartments, PLP and Rain, and they actually had a really good timing for it. And there was an initial headshot as well from from, uh, from Rain. It looked like such a good start, and then it just wasn't. Now a team Skirt kill comes in Polly. and seized. He finds a bit of fun in that. Sue's so going to take down Skirk. I don't even think anyone from LC is going to be too frustrated right now. I think they know that this map is gone. Yeah, this is uh, this is something, but they. It's also just like you know, don't don't. Don't really pay attention. You just got to play your game. That's the sort of thing, right? And Navi, I mean, Navi are a team that just dominate on this map. So there's no real, there was no real illusion. Like anything can happen on Inferno. Although it's, it was definitely a massive upset for uh, LC to actually pull off that win. But Dust Two is a map that really anything can happen on. So we, you know, it's 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 up in the air really. Navi, they're just they're just on cloud nine at this point. As far as they're concerned, they're pretty much like sweet. Okay, second map is sorted. Now we get into the third map and you know get down to business. It's a bit of a flip side moment. It, maybe it is. Right now, three on four, and this is the last round of the half and uh, the second map. If Navi win it and Navi will win it, then we're going to be going to Dust Two. That's pretty much what it's down to. But Dust Two could be a very different experience for both teams here. I would definitely not rule LC out of winning Dust2. No, especially since Dust2 is such a momentum map these days. It really seems like if you're able to get a strong start, if LC can pick up a pistol round and get a strong start, 
anything is possible. Like, they could just start stringing rounds together, depending on which side they're on. Even if, you know, it's just, it's... Anything is up in the air on Dust2. So, 14-1 finish for, for Na'Vi here in this first half. Pretty dominant performance. But uh, now we switch into the second half and we see if London Conspiracy can actually come back into this. Exactly right. So if you're just joining us, then welcome to the stream. This is Room on Fire and the ESL 1 Cologne 2014 European Finals. We have LC versus Navi. Best of three game. We're at the second map, second half. And, well, Navi, they're at a 14 to 1 lead. If they win, just another two rounds here. We're going to be going to Dust 2 for the third and final deciding map. And the winner here is going to be qualified to play at Gamescom 2014. $250,000 tournament. So thanks for tuning in. Remember again, follow and subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out we've been streaming well this is the third best of three game we have another one coming up after this one and tomorrow we have another four best of three games so a pretty tough weekend here in terms of how many games that are coming up but you know what it's great we love it now great grenade coming out here from seas does significant damage to rubino tries to fall back mid air headshot as well and it's going to be edward now falling back to safety it's a four on four and they can actually put the bomb down here london conspiracy looking to make this scoreline a little bit better for themselves now Guardian really facing there, and he managed to not get anything done. In fact, he just gets taken out. Now a four on three. Zeus still alive, but not for long. Rubino finds the headshot. Polly gets one as well. It's all down to Starks now, who's alive 1v3, but he's caught in Kitchen. And they're just going to come hunting for him. Skirt gets nailed, but Rubino's there to clean up, and that's 2-1 now. Or rather, 2-1-4. 2, one, four, two fourteen. Love yeah. Conspiracy. Pick up... Excuse me. Pick up the pistol. Now... I will still say this, there's absolutely no way the London Conspiracy are going to make this comeback, but there's a lot for them to win, and this is actually really important now. Na'Vi have a huge interest in closing this game out in that pistol round and just winning it 16-1, because then they go straight into Dust 2 and they are fresh off of a huge victory. Now, the more rounds LC win here before the game ends, the more of a buffer there is between the sort of emotional letdown that they would feel and, and the next map. You know, they get some confidence back. They realize, okay, Na'Vi are not, in fact, immortal. They're not just, you know, undefeatable. We can still kill them. Look at this. And then, all right, they lose the map, but they prove to themselves that they can do it. And then they're ready for Dust 2. I think it really makes psychologically a big difference. So I think this is these are really important rounds for LC, even if the comeback's going to be nearly impossible. Well, so far things aren't looking too good right now for the Norwegian team. They managed to get picked off by Edward, who had an a who had an AWP. He had the AWP's little brother, the Deagle, on short. Got a pretty good kill there. But now Navi falling back to the B site. They seem to be making the right call for now with three guys holding on this B site because the bomb is up in B apartments. And it seems like London Conspiracy are slowly but surely working their way over there. They smoke up everywhere, in fact, and they are going into B. So this is going to be a B play. Navi rotating off, however, now. Yeah, they spotted Zeus. I think they realized they've been discovered. So if they go into the speed bomb site here, there's actually everyone's waiting because of Zeus's position. It's working out really well. A Guardian goes down here. Edward looking for the Deagle shot. Not going to get it. Big throwaway. And C scopes down as well. So Na'Vi, I think, had a really good chance of winning this round away. But now they've thrown it away, obviously. Starik's going to be alone here. And London Conspiracy hold on to it. London Conspiracy, and they hold on to it without losing a man. They lose Polly to begin with. Did I just curse them? Yes, I did. Starks finds a kill on Skirk. But still, with only three guys left alive? With only two guys left alive? With mm. only one guy left alive? He actually had no more bullets. That's the last click here. Now, Rain is... He's going to go for the straight defuse. He's got the kit as well. You must be joking, Rain. Make the pick. <laughs> oh. Starix, what a godlike performance. That last shot was the last bullet he had left in that C set 75. And that's a painful way to lose a round. But my god, what a great performance. I don't know what to say anymore. I think I just cursed London Conspiracy into losing that round. Well, I mean, you called out their names and right afterwards they died. Certainly a little bit of a coincidence, I feel like. I feel kind of bad about that. That was a joke, but I had no idea I had that power, Anders. Well, Rubino is pretty angry about that as well. He's going to be taking down Zeus and Guardians with some really impressive Galil work. Now, 5 on 3. Can you curse them again, Samurai? Are you ready for it? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Two times the charm. Is that it? I mean, this is still Starix managing to pick up Polly. Good spray there from Rubino. He's not done yet. He's only got, well, about 50 HP, and he's going to get 4. Nearly gets 5. Starix is going to be the last man. Starix is like, there is no fun allowed. He takes out Rubino, but Rain with the flank. <laughs> Navi, 
they they don't manage to actually lock out this map here on that follow up round. Not quite. It's not going to be just yet. And Ceased manages to disconnect again. So unfortunate. It's going to be fifteen to three, and Guardian is getting really angry. He can't even run the PC. Guardian always, yeah. Do you think he knows what's VPN? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Guardian. That is good fun. All right. Well, of course, uh, we're going to wait for a second here. He's going to connect back in, and then we'll resume the game. Remember that there's a third map coming up. I'll write this one, and um, we're going to cover it as well. Then after that, we have one more game, which is ESG and that. And I hope that ESL are going to try and hold it for us. But if they don't, if they can't do it, obviously the teams have to accept that, you know, we're going to delay it. Otherwise, they're going to go and start, and we'll join in the game as soon as we can. So that's the plan pretty much here. It's another 45 minutes before that game is scheduled to start. So maybe if they can hold it for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, we'll be able to join, depending on how intense Dust 2 is, of course. Still very, very curious to see how that's going to turn out, definitely. Oh, absolutely. At this point, London Conspiracy, I mean, they, they're not, they're showing that they're not done yet. No, they're not. <laughs> Skirk. Somebody trolling. Yeah, I mean, this this is just London Conspiracy making a point, basically saying, okay, well, we're not going to get pushed around like that. We are going to try and throw our weight around. Navi, I mean, Starks, that was just insult to injury, you know? Knife in wound and then a little twist or two with some salt on top and maybe some cayenne pepper. I mean, that was pretty bad there, what Starks did. Wait, cayenne, is he procuring him for, like, putting in the oven or something? Pepper Damn, man, it's marinating. Navi are getting their meal ready. It's about dinner time. That does actually make a lot of sense. Maybe that's what's happening here. I certainly, um, London Conspiracy are being devoured at the moment. Or they, they, they're really trying to see if they can, you know, get out of it with a with a better scoreline. And I get said, I think this is psychologically even even this pause coming in. I think is actually going to benefit London Conspiracy because the more time this map takes, the more it gets drawn out. The, the longer they have to sort of absorb the defeat. I think they, they've they known for a long time that they can't win this map anymore, but they get time to think about it, they get time to put it behind them, and then hopefully they're going to be ready for us too. Uh, and I see... So I, see I think Scoots, it's going to take some... Street oh, I see okay, Scoots go ahead, is, uh, is having a furious fight with our subscribers in the chat. You what? go, Scoots. Scoots. Beat them up. Don't give them yeah, any yeah, room. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Scoots would give to be able to punch people through computer screens. Like, I don't think he would have a house anymore. Like, I think he would just give everything to be able to do that. Yeah. I think Scoots, he would... he would If, if he grew his hair back, he'd give it back just so he could punch people through <laughs> the internet. That's how much it matters to him. All right. Polly pushing in here. It's going to be an eco round coming out from Navi, but they've already done pretty well picking off PRB and Skirk, and things are looking a little bit dangerous here. Sue's going to peek in, take down Rain. That's the bomb drop, then we might be able to see the end of the map right here. Rubino and Polly left two on four, and in a really awkward position, sort of weirdly trapped and away from each other. Yeah, no, they're all boxed in. Polly's going to take it, try and flash his way out there. Cute little pop flash, but that's not going to be good enough. Rubino now with a double spray down. Rubino has woken up. The beast is here. I mean, we got a bear on London Conspiracy. I wonder where Rubino is. What's his spirit animal? Still, Starks. Is he going to get revenge on him? Not quite. Starks manages to dart around the corner. And now, Navi, they just get to sit on this bomb for 50 seconds, pretty much. That's all they have to do to win the round. It feels like it, doesn't it? I mean, Rubino has some health. He's got armor as well, and they don't. But they also have a grenade, and there's almost no way he should be able to do this. So... One on two here, Rubino holding the fate of Elsie in the hands on this map, and it's not working out soon.